So we have a quick look back then at the action. Everybody got underway under yellow flags, of course, with the conditions being as difficult as they were. Yellow flag for the first lap with no overtaking just to get drivers into their rhythm. It certainly caught me off guard. But you could see the amount of spray that was being kicked up. Trucks sideways out of corners. But Norbert Kish led us away with the field trying to catch up from then on. Jochen Hahn would start a brilliant battle with Sasha Lenz, where the two of them would have contact after contact, unfortunately, but part of hard racing, isn't it, really? Norbert Kish disappearing up the road, but then everybody started to just pile the pressure on Jochen Hahn. He held off as long as he could, especially through the very twisty sections here at the chicane. Sasha Lenz trying it around the outside with bits of contact, bits of bodywork going flying and all over the shop. As you see there, body panels being avoided by other drivers, but a beautiful move around the outside of turn 15 turned into an overtaking move down the inside of turn 16. Jochen Hahn then had other drivers queuing up behind to try and have a go. Antonio Albertete is going to be the first of them. Adam Lachko and Anthony Janiak in very hot pursuit. Antonio Albacete would do almost what Sasha Lenz did around the outside of turn 16 this time down the inside of turn 17, leaving Lachko ready to come through as well. But Norbert Kish was not out in front completely undisturbed. Sasha Lenz managed to catch back up after what was a very, very hard fought run away from Hahn and the rest of the pack. Steffi Halm managed to make it up into fifth position, overtaking the likes of Janiek and Hahn after they had a slight coming together, apparently. And then the battle would begin between Antonio Albacete and Adam Lachko, the two of them showing the strengths and weaknesses of their two trucks. The very beefy man chasing down the very agile and slipstreamed Freightliner number 55. Sasha Lenz tried everything he could to get closer and closer to Norbert Kish towards the end in the closing laps, but ultimately it would prove to not be enough. And Norbert Kish would take his third race win in a row. Sasha did try absolutely everything though. At some points, even having a look down the inside on corner exit, but missing gears and not getting the run that he wanted ultimately meant he dropped back to nearly a second behind. But Kish was the race winner for the third time this season. Sash Lenz very much all over the back of him to try and limit the damage done in the championship. We have the reverse grid race coming up for you in a couple of hours' time. Of course, the top eight will be reversed, so keep your eye on Sasha Lenz and, of course, Norbert Kish to see how they get on. And this man as well, Adam Lachko. It's his home race here and the team, Bagheera Racing's home race. So we'll be very excited to see how they do. Norbert Kish, though, an incredibly happy man. But thank you very much, everybody, for joining us for this one. We will see you for race two a little bit later on this afternoon. Have a good one.